Hey, we got some uh, Japanese tools here from Amazon Japan. This is my first taste of this brand, this manufacturer, Asahi, Asahi Tools, made in Japan. Uh, no, these are not toys. Apparently, these are hot forged. So uh, let's take a look at them. Uh, JIS, Japanese Industrial Standard, something, something, something. Very excited about that. So this is an 8, 10, and 12 millimeter set. Uh, very small, teeny tiny, lightweight. Take them off this ring here. So we have extremely small 8 millimeter. You can see the crow on there. Uh, fit and finish is not um, exquisite. Uh, the broaching on the open end, you know, there's some marks in there. It's not perfect, uh, but it is very tiny, very small, kind of a cool thing. It's not, it's not fake. It's a real wrench, you know. It's uh, hot forged. Uh, box end is offset not enough to get your finger under there so not super useful um, I got this set to test out Asahi but also because of the 12 millimeter I have a specific spot on uh, one of my vehicles that I have to access sometimes and it's very tough so this 12 millimeter is is going to help me in there hopefully uh, I would have liked to have seen slightly more narrow here um, but we'll see how it works overall I like them they're cool this is laser etched that would have been a little nicer if that was forged along with the wrench uh, but a neat little set very tiny miniature um, I think that's what this means, Poochie. I think that means teeny weeny. Um, I don't speak Japanese, but I I did study it a bit in college. So what's this say? Pucci combination spana seto. So tiny little combination spanner set, which is exactly what it is. Made in Japan. Uh, that's my first taste of Asahi. And uh, Amazon. Japan has a lot of cool stuff on there, uh, so I got a few things that I needed. Um, one thing I needed was uh, a, a knife. I got some Kaizen foam that I'm playing around with, and um, I didn't really want the Kaizen knife. I prefer Japanese made. So we got this Ulfa. 141B and this is just a, a, a break off knife blade so let's, let's test it out here let's see how it is okay steel construction actually this is really nice steel construction pocket clip advances on detents very slim blade you can see the size of it uh, very narrow that should work pretty good for foam cutting wow I like it so that's uh, Ulfa this is actually my first Ulfa product and uh, I, I, I'm really drawn to made in Japan items and uh, I'm really sick of cheap junk that falls apart uh, mostly Chinese made of course Wolf of Japan um, the fit and finish on this item is actually very nice uh, you can see here if it would focus Come on, come on. There we go. Uh, 
on a cutter, Japan, kind of a brushed, brushed steel look, very nice, uh, very sturdy actually, I thought this was going to be just cheap, like those little plastic ones, but no, this is nice, so, let's see how sharp it is, I'm sure it's sharp. So it cuts. So that's the Ulfa. And of course, you know, I needed to get some blades with it, so I got some uh, replacement blades, 10 in a pack. Uh, not in the need category, but in the I saw it, so I wanted to try it category is this Ulfa 107B hook knife, hook cutter. So let's see what we got here. Now this is not a need, it just looked cool. And um, reminds me of a pruning hook. But even this, this uh, plastic injection molded handle, it's, uh, it's actually finished really nicely. It has a very nice finish to it. You can tell they actually care about how their product looks and feels, which is nice. Sadly, it can be hard to find uh, manufacturers that uh, care about those things anymore. Uh, so I'm like an Ulfa. This is my first taste of Ulfa, first taste of Asahi. Um, I think I'll definitely be uh, purchasing my utility blades from Ulfa from now on because uh, they're nice. I'm liking it. If their bigger models are made like this, I'm going to enjoy them. Um, I like it. So this has been the Asahi Little Midget Wrenches, the Ulfa Tiny Little Cutter, Hook Cutter, Extra Blades. This is kind of my first um, experiment with Amazon Japan. I got my items really quickly, uh, let's see, like four days from ordering them. They just ship them over. Um, <clears throat> I believe these came from Osaka and uh, shipped over to Cincinnati is where they uh, landed in the US and then shipped to me so uh, this is my first taste of some made in Japan items and I'm going to continue on with that that theme um, I'm just uh, attracted to the Japanese quality and craftsmanship that I've seen in their vehicles um, and, uh, and I've seen it in their tools as well so we got some really cool stuff coming up, uh, some brands on the horizon uh, coming in, Koken, Tools, Nepros, KTC, uh, so yeah, this is our first taste of Japanese products. Thanks for watching. P.S. If you guys are interested in checking out this stuff, um, uh, I got all this stuff on Amazon Japan, so you can find it there for sure. It only takes about three or four days to get to the U.S. If, um, if it's Amazon Japan actually fulfilling it. A lot of the uh, suppliers on there uh, won't even ship to the US, but Amazon Japan definitely does, and quickly. But the part numbers for these items, which I didn't give, um, let's go over them now. The uh, hook cutter uh, is part number 107B for the plastic hook cutter. The stainless steel cutter, Ulfa, part number is 141B, and then for the, if you want the extra blades, uh, it's a 10 pack, Amazon Japan, part number is XB141, and then for the um, Asahi uh, wrenches, uh, this is the pack of three, there are other sizes, um, I just got these three because I'd be using those sizes the most for this small application, but uh, they make a whole range of these. But the part number for the three pack is LCWUS30. Um, I probably won't get the main set or the rest of them. Uh, I think these will be fine. I can just use a regular wrench for other sizes in most cases. And um, like I said, all this stuff from Amazon Japan, uh, I got a bunch of new stuff coming in. Uh, I got a bunch of Nepros items coming in, which I'm, I'm very excited about. Uh, I got some Koken socketry items, 
which I'm also excited about. I've never had any Koken or Nepros items, so I'm going to check them out. And uh, stay tuned. See you next time.